Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Hexes Force! Since last time, I made it back to the Denmail Highway here because, well, there's a particular item that I want to harvest here. The Moonlight Grass! Alright! Took me six tries to get that out of there, but, well, I finally did it. Uh, you want to get those so that way you can use them to craft the Meteor Boots, which I can't do yet. Uh, also, if you have the Mantis Wings already, you can craft a Fast Steel, or, yeah, Fast Steel there. Now, I already got one from the achievement from running from 100 battles, which I did actually in the first game, or the regular new game. This is a new game plus, so I'm, I don't need to craft them. But you probably do, so you can do that. It, or you should probably be able to do that about now. So, Okay, well, since we got everything there, let's head on back to the Altar of Nerval and explore the other half that the plot doesn't direct us to go to. Although now that the plot has directed us to go there, the Altered Nervel itself appears on the world map, so you don't have to go all the way through the through Lake Soleil to do that anymore. You could actually it's actually faster to go to the Altered Nervel for a harvest run. Huh? Oh, right. I need to uh get rid of the piece of cloak and the quick lucky lenses. Uh, we got a, quite a few rare drafts I want to get in this area. But anyway, here's a new enemy, Bergen. Uh, this guy is actually pretty pretty rare around here. Judge Bergen? No. Nah. No, this guy's not nearly as cool. We are victorious. But anyway, yeah, I mean, he's not ultra rare, but... Well, if you can... Hey, hey, all right, we got a lion thing from him. Those would be really useful for some end game level equipment. So if you can win them now, great. I'm not gonna list them in the video description because there's easier ways to acquire them later. And if you haven't already, you can break down that wall with some force. And uh, there's a chest on the other side which contains a Shang Long chain. I've already gotten it and it's not really important anyway, but you can if you want. If you haven't already, that is. Ah, and there's one of the enemies I'm looking for, Anju, on the right side there. Now, let's just, well, yeah. Uh, basically, hmm, I could use something a little more powerful. Yeah, you know what? Let's go with those upgrades there. I think I'll need a little more strength to finish him off. Good, good. So basically, uh, in order to get the drop I want from the Anju that I just killed there, uh, you kill it with anything but a light or fire elemental attack. So Void will get the job done. Haha! -ha! Alright. Well, that's one piece down for the media boots. Now all I need to do is get that cursed fin from a Baskerville. One of those dog type enemies. Uh, if you don't get everything that I've listed in the video description in this area, don't worry about it. We'll, we can get them in the next area. I'm going to skip those stairs there for now. I'm gonna go down these ones before getting a hidden treasure! Silver vines! Alright. See, a couple other enemies I'm looking for are uh, Draken. And, uh, what was the other one? Oh, uh, Brutal Mantis. Yeah, yeah. Narcissus. Awesome. I'm not going to be converting anything into Force Points now, because I'm probably gonna hit the cap soon. Not in this area, but later on. And uh, we're going to have some Ragnifax we're going to be getting in the near future anyway. So, uh, well, you'll see when we get to that point. Yeah, we get a lot more Ragnifax on the Vant path than Cecilia's path. But, I mean, this is a more physically oriented party, so we need more weapons. But then again, on this path... All we really do is just use the brute force method. We don't really need to use that many spear effects. And even then, we really can't use that many. So, oh well. But I suppose it balances out not having access to unlimited healing, which is just, well, not obscene, but it's really good. Or, I should say, renewable healing sources, or whatever. But anyway, here we get some alchemy crystals, which we'll want to save for uh, some crafting later on. We can craft the Beast Bangle, one of my favorite accessories in the game. Besides the big four. 
Now, well, it's not the big three in this game, but anyway, in this chest, uh, if we infuse 30 force points into it, we get a Gale Ring. If you just open it, you get to fight a Mimic, and you'll get a Sun Breach instead. Neither of them are very good or worthwhile, but oh well. Hmm? Oh. Wrong dead end. I just always assume dead ends have something useful there, but now it works just like it does in real life, apparently. Now, oddly enough, even though these guys fly, and the draken there doesn't, well, that's the monster sprite that they use to represent a draken for some reason. So, but anyway, yeah, let's take out the floaty dowel there on the right. For some reason, I'm reminded of Sweet Home. But anyway, yeah, uh, to get what we want to do with Draken here is we want to get uh, five more dra dragons from him. Or up to, well, yeah, I mean, five more. For uh, cooking later on. Now, you can cook an SNS recipe with it, but I would recommend saving whatever royal liquids you got now for later. Because they're pretty rare for now. All right, there we go. Dragon me. So, yeah, defeat it with a void attack, and you're all good there. Meteor Necklace, eh, basically useless on Levant's path. Cecilia's path, much more useful for a side quest, but here, not so much. Uh, let's see, with the... What was that time? Oh, yeah, the, the dragon meats there. Yeah, you'll need them for the uh, need food side quest later on. The dragon meats are much easier to acquire on the Bond's path. Okay, and there's uh, Brutal Mantis. Uh, common drop, you can get the... Uh, what is it? The uh, Mantis Wings from them. You can use any element to kill them, doesn't matter. Uh, you need uh, ten of them, uh, two for crafting the Bastille, and the rest for a Goddess Road later on. Or at least for crafting uh, uh, premium silks for the goddess robe. I think that's what I use them for. All right, there we go, Mantis Wing. And like I said, if you don't get them all right now, we can get them later. So, in the next area. So, uh, let's see. So, no, not that. Yeah, you need them for the, for the boots there, but yeah, I can't see the goddess robe yet. Yeah, that's like the ultimate... Uh, female equipped that you can craft in the game. But anyway, here, oh, another little force side and a, another little boss time. Careful, everyone. Uh oh. Now the one in the middle there is going to be weak to light. Yeah, go show. So let's take that out. Maybe I should have equipped that Gale Ring. Oh well. But anyway, even though those to fly and they're resistant to Quake, yeah, it's still totally the way to go. Earthquake is just so obscenely powerful. I mean, you gotta be able to have it by now, even if you're not, like, harvesting stuff. Or not doing, like, the harvest runs, like the Narcissist and all that stuff, but... All right, we get another Stardust there. You want to save that for later, too, for some crafting, to craft the uh, Stardust Cape there. All I need is another premium silk, but uh, we're going to find one in the future. I mean, I could craft one right now, but we need a royal liquid to do that. And, I, well, royal liquids, like I said, are pretty hard to come by. So, again, uh, royal liquids are uh, much easier to acquire on... Or are they more easier to acquire on the Levant's Path? Hmm. I'm trying to remember... Uh, no, actually, they're easier to acquire on Cecilia's path than Levon's path. I mean, you can get a bunch of them on both, but... Okay, I'm still looking for a Baskerville to get a Cursed Fin but to craft those Meteor Boots, but if I don't get them by... Well, actually, that is the end of the area, so... Oh, well, I'll get them later. Whatever. Uh, let's see. Don't need to save there, so let's... Uh, equip the discerning specs and head into the chamber there. Oh, you know what? I uh, 
I forgot, there's a mermaid scale back there by the save point. Well, I'll just get that off screen. Whatever. Yeah, just scan the area there and you'll find it. Uh, at the uh, altar there, or the uh, monolith there, uh, you can get red fragments from it rarely, but I didn't. Oh well. Here we get a fast style. Awesome. So, okay, well, that's everything I can do here. Meet you back at Gardner's place there. I'll just get there off screen. Then. Okay, we're back, and now let's head on over to. Are we gonna go to Ravenna now? Yeah, yeah, we're gonna go there now. See, so, yeah, normally I have the meteor boots by now. I usually give them to Irene, but well, like I said, I don't have them yet. So, oh well. Let's go check it out. Surely we've made it in time for once. Nice. Looks like someone's already here. What do you mean a pitiful castle? This place is huge! Probably the biggest area we've uh, been to so far. You think this dungeon's big, viewers? <laughs> oh, it's gonna get a lot bigger. And there's a few items we want to win from the enemies here, too. But we'll worry about that uh, next time. I'm not gonna get into that today. First, we have story time. Maybe you could try talking to the wall. No. No. Hmm. Well, let's check it out. Hey, hey all right. 300? Oh, I guess it's better than 10,000. But, no, 300 ought to do. Well, if you played Cecilia's path, you won't be able to get past that door there. Spoiler alert, we're going to get past that door on Levant's path here. Of course we are, as if that's a spoiler. But yeah, we can't get through there. That's where the laboratory is, so... But anyway, okay, let's get a little stuff here. Another one of those aberrant force things up there, but nothing we can do with that for now. So, yeah, we're going to have to actually go all the way through the castle there, unfortunately. So, let's see. Not there. Haha, -ha, there it is. Yeah, curse bones, better than a sharp stick in the eye. Well, let's see, before going up there, let's head on over here first. Let's see, there's nothing on the lower right path there. I mean, it kind of looks like there's a dead end. There might be something there, but nah. Nah, that's nothing there. What are those things in the water there, anyway? Just some kind of statue, I don't know. I mean, they look like a pillar, but they're not holding up anything, so. I don't know. Toronto Spheres? Eh, never really use them. Let's see. Before going in there, though, I would like to equip the Miracle Ring. There we go. You should have that from an achievement way earlier in the game. E even on a regular new game. Huh? Uh, whoa! It's a giant statue. Huh? Well, what do you mean? Oh, yeah. Remember way back at Grenade there? Well, I guess this is uh, another one of those things. It's a lot bigger, though. It's not a golem. It's a robot. Pretty much. Oh. Why don't you ask? Uh-oh! Danger music! Well, we already defeated Phantasma Alpha. Yeah, stand back. We can handle the beta testing. For boss time! <laughs> okay, so, first things first. We want to use Aerial Cleave there. 
Uh, he is susceptible to lightning there, but I'm going to use Divine Barrage instead. Because the total damage will be more than even Thunderstruck will. Now, the reason why I've got the Miracle Ring on Irene, uh, I got a little lucky here. But the reason is because uh, Phantasma Beta has an attack called Narcolepsy, which can put your entire party to sleep. And if he does, he will kill you, because you might not wake up before he can kill you. Yeah, bitch. No trouble at all. I just love Phantasma's voice. But yeah, Fleur de Lee is just obscene Excellent. against this guy. But anyway, alright, we get Phantasma, or Phantasm Alloy. Why does that piece keep on teleporting away? Hmm, well, we'll learn more about that later. Not today. Well, Irene's the one who's taking them all out. Nuts. How bad could it possibly be? But anyway, uh, before moving on, let's scan the area. And, okay, well, we want to clear the foresight, too. Let's see. Let's get back on the lucky lenses there, because well, there's going to be quite a few rare items that I want to get from this area. Although I don't think we need to get all of them immediately. And let's clear this one, then. For boss time! Do that again, Greek. No, no. But, uh, let's see. Guy on the right there, weak to thunder. Guy on the left there, weak to holy and fire. But I think I'm going to go with thunder draft, because that also exploits its, uh, aspect weakness. I like how, if you fast forward Irene, when she says, feel my wrath, and then she attacks and says, die, she'll be like, feel my die! I will carve the way forward! The audio will just skip like that because going through it so quickly. I am the Bontborn Spitzer. Feel the die! Yeah. But anyway, ooh, another alchemy crystal. Nice. Those things are a little tricky to get. And same thing with an Arnon gem, too. Could convert that, but let's stockpile it for later. Now, eventually, we're going to want to go upstairs. But, well, if you do, you're going to run into a uh, plot wall, so you can't do that yet. Uh, here, there's a room inside, but you can never get to it on Levant's path. So if you want to find out what's inside that room, well, you'll have to check out Cecilia's path there. I like how they do that, because there's actually a lot of really good plot stuff going on in there on Cecilia's path. Same thing with the uh, laboratory downstairs that you can't see on Cecilia's path. But can we survive Faust's traps in the castle here? Find out next time on Let's Play Hexes Force. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.